we're going out on the boat. Stay curious, stay adventurous, and keep on exploring. Josh! <laughs>
located just 19 kilometers off the coast of Fremantle, Rottnest Island is a protected natural reserve with abundance of marine life and the island's most famous resident, the quokka. Explore white sand beaches, swim snorkel in clear waters and get a selfie with a quokka. Access is by private boat, commercial ferry or charter flights and there are plenty of accommodation options on the island. The marsupial cocker is endemic to southwest Western Australia with only about 10,000 remaining, most of them on Rottnest Island. The island was named in 1696 by Dutch explorer Vlemming, who mistook them for giant rats and named the island Ratnest Island. How often do you actually use your boat? Would you like a bigger boat but can't afford it? Well now there is a better way. Perth Boat Share offer a step-on, step-off experience to enjoy boating around Perth's local waterways, sharing ownership and costs between three or four others. Spend more time actually boating without worrying about storage, towing or boat ramps, mechanical repairs, maintenance and all the bills are looked after in one shared quarterly payment. Spend the day on the Swan River, chill out around Mandra, or spend a couple of days on Rottnest Island. They do all that hard work so that you can enjoy the boating. You'll be surprised at how affordable and hassle-free boating can be. Hey everyone, we'd really like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to all of our YouTube subscribers, our Facebook and Instagram followers. And from the Grinch, I think he's got a message. Yeah, from the Grinch, I hope your tree burns down, your presents get stolen and you get too drunk on New Year's. Oh my God. <laughs> Ignore him. Stay, <laughs> stay curious, stay adventurous and keep on exploring. Merry Christmas everyone. Merry Christmas guys, have a safe new year. 2023 has been a ripping year for us and 2024 we've got a lot more in store. Stay along for that journey. Have a great one guys. See ya. See you. The Giants of Mandra is a free outdoor sculpture exhibition created by international artist Thomas Dambo. Start at the Mandra Visitor Centre and follow the clues to their locations outlined on the map. Every Thursday evening between November and April, Scarborough Beach comes alive with live music, mouth-watering feeds from all corners of the world, artisan wares, dance exhibitions, free exercise classes and so much more. Then there is a pop-up bar to grab a cocktail or a beer and watch the sun set. Oh, that is so, so cool. Yeah, I was wondering what he's pulling for. That's fine. Oh,
The Rockingham Foreshore Revitalisation Program, which was completed in 2019, is situated opposite the cafe and restaurant strip and ultimately became our go-to as it was close to where we were staying. We spent plenty of time here drinking coffee, taking the dogs to the dog-friendly beach section and fishing off the jetties. We returned to the Rockingham Foreshore area for New Year's Eve celebrations. The local council provided a free family event that included food trucks, entertainment by Birds in Tokyo and other local bands and a spectacular firework display at both 9pm and midnight. Perth is the capital city of Western Australia with a population of over 2.2 million people. The city is located in the southwest of the state. The Perth was founded by Captain James Stirling in 1829 and proclaimed a city by Queen Victoria in 1856. So we did a walking tour starting up at Kings Park which gives you a spectacular view across the entire city and over the Swan River. It is almost 1,000 acres of parklands and botanical gardens. Elizabeth Quay is a waterfront retail precinct on the banks of the Swan River. Here you'll find the Island Playground, the BHP Billiton Water Park, public artworks, promenades, open spaces and a range of bars, restaurants and shopping. From Elizabeth Quay, you can also get a ferry across the river to the zoo down the river to Fremantle or even out to Rottnest Island. The Swan Valley is located approximately 30 minutes northeast of Perth and is a great place to spend a weekend on a food and wine trail, which is exactly what we did, staying at the Vines Siebel Hotel for the weekend and checking out all that the area has to offer. Over this weekend, we took long walks around the property at the Vines, checking out the resident kangaroos, played some mini golf, of course, indulged in plenty of wine and cheese platters with a little bit of gin on the side at the local distilleries.
Ooh, no, it's the cavalry. Oh, bad luck. Calm down, seriously, dude. <laughs> exactly. Come on, the people behind us. Yeah, and if it's like, if you want to receive it, yeah. yeah, if it's over 100, we ship it for free. Um, everything's online, so if you get one, and go, no, I should have done that. Thanks for watching our summer break in Perth. Thank you all for your support in 2023. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. And please, most importantly, comment or leave some feedback and keep watching as we continue our adventures in 2024. In the meantime, stay curious, stay adventurous and keep on exploring.